So the one thing It Chapter 2 does better than the first movie is it's a lot scarier. And Bill Skarsgård is way better in this movie than he was in the first one. And he was amazing in that one. What's up, guys, and welcome to Movie Important's movie review of It Chapter 2, the continuation of It Chapter 1, and brings back director Andy Muschietti. It also brings back the original cast members from the original movie, and brings us also the new cast members who are now the older adult versions of these cast members. And this includes Jessica Chastain, James McAvoy, Bill Hader, Isaiah Mustafa, Jay Ryan, James Ransom, and Andy Bean. With It Chapter 1, we journeyed with the young kids, the loser club, Club. Their group of kids actually took down Pennywise and decided that they were going to make a pact. And that pact involved that if Pennywise or it or whatever creature it is comes back, they will go back and stop it. So they make a blood pact. Well, 27 years later, most of the people outside of Mike Hanlon move away and they've forgotten everything. They've become successful writers, they've become successful you know, architects, they've gotten into relationships that are abusive, so on and so forth. And Mike Hanlon, after an incident involving a situation with a couple people, he calls them and says, Pennywise is back. And as people do, these people have forgotten. And when they go back, they remember. And of course, like we all do, you're afraid. And that's what it, the clown, feeds on. He feeds on fear. That's why the people that he ate or the people he killed were fearful of him and scared. And children are always fearful of clowns. It's a, it's a big thing with... You know, it's the psyche of a mind is clowns are always scary and it's it really shows in this movie. Now, I love it. Chapter one. I think it's fantastic. I think what Andy Machete was doing was amazing. But does that lead into it? Chapter two is it? Chapter two just as amazing. And it is not. Unfortunately, it's the problem of the kids story in the it story itself was always more fascinating than the adult story. And it's because kids fear a lot more things. Their psyche is a lot more different. They imagine things that are a lot more different. And then when you have an entity like Pennywise the Clown, it's going to manifest itself into something much more darker and much more uncomfortable. And that's what made the first movie work. And the second movie, because we're getting all the adults of the kids, they just feel like they're almost disconnected from what's going on and how the situation plays out. Yes, they're scared. And there's some truly scary moments in this involving the characters themselves. But it doesn't feel like a whole situation. That's the main problem with the book in general is the adult characters. They never feel like they really truly connect with what's going on in the story. And then the ending just kind of gets weird and goofy. You know what I'm talking about. If you've read the book, many people have. It's just a very weird scenario. But what I will say and what's something that Andy Machete does very, very well in any movie he directs is... He knows how to make suspense, he knows how to make horrifying stuff, and he knows how to make imagery pop. And that's what he does in this movie. Bill Skarsgård, who is still the most amazing part about this movie, is not only scarier, not only much more dark, but is just so unnerving, so much fun as he's, he's having with this role that it just it, it, it emanates off the screen with just such passion and, and just beautiful just resonance and it's just a fun thing that bill skarsgård has done i can't i can't take away from how good he really is and the fact that Andy machete has gone into the deep psyche of who pennywise is in general it really makes it that much more unnerving so when the when the loser club the adults version go back and reminisce on their past and you start to learn a little bit more about who pennywise is you really feel that unnerving nature of what this creature, this clown, what he really is capable of doing. And there are things in this movie that will scare the heck out of you. You know, it's not perfect. Some of the things get a little cheesy, but just to see these characters and see how they interact with Pennywise, it's just, it's so good. And that's what I love about what Andy Buschetti has done with Bill Skarsgård. This is a, a villain for the ages and whether people agree with me, I don't care. But I love what Bill Skarsgård did has done here. Um, the also another true standout is Bill Hader. Bill Hader has always been funny. I always enjoy what he's doing. I think he's really enamic, enamic 
or really just out there. He puts himself out there and it's really fun to see. And you see his dramatic chops, but you bring the Bill Hader in to be funny and he really fits with what Finn Wolfhard did in the original movie. And it just fits perfectly. And like James McAvoy's good and Jessica Chastain's good, but they're they're there to kind of echo what their characters were in the original movie, but no, nobody stands out truly unlike Bill Hader and it really does work. And Jay Ryan, who plays Ben Hanscom, he's good. You see his transformation. But like I said, these characters are just, because the adult versions are not more that exciting, it doesn't really work. But I'll leave it with that. I'm not going to really spoil too much on it. If there's one thing that I don't like what Andy Muschietti does, it's Dutch angles. Dutch angles, is you'll notice it in a lot of his movies where he kind of tilts the camera. I think Michael Bay does this as well. And it's to give you that unnerving sense where you're just like kind of like off till you see it a lot of times in a lot of horror films to give you that tension to give you that moments and it's just it's used too much and the language in this movie is like bore full till like like bill haters character says the f word several thousand times but i also like the score i think benjamin wallfish's score for this movie is also interesting it's not the best but i like what it's going i like that it's giving a more hopeful feel and that's what this movie's trying to do it's trying to scare you but it's trying to give you a closure i guess you could say because this is the final chapter so i'll leave it at that that's it that's all i'm going to talk about in chapter two like i said there are scary moments that will make you go holy crap there's some really cool imagery but just it suffers from what stephen king's story has suffered from all these years and that is just ending a story and just the adult characters just aren't that interesting. And when you take the kids and you put them in the first movie and then you kind of join it into the, the second movie with the adults, it just isn't as successful. It's still a good movie. It's still fun. The de-aging technology is terrible. So you'll notice it when you see the kids. But other than that, it's still a fun ride. Pennywise, still amazing. So, well, that's it. That's my take on It Chapter 2. Uh, let me know in the comments below when you see it, what you think, uh, what your favorite characters, so on and so forth, but uh, that'll do it. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell at the top to find out what's coming next, and comment below on any video that you watch. But otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out Movie Emporium. I really appreciate it. If you want to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button and the bell at the top. Find out what's coming next for Movie Emporium. Also, check out these two videos. They're amazing. I think they're awesome. I think you'll enjoy them too. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.